Hi, welcome. My name is Brittany and I'll be guiding you through this class today. Today will be a flow and also long hold stretches. This class will help you to release any tension or stress that you might be feeling. So today you'll need some wall space. Grab blocks or pillows if you have those around. If not, that's okay. And then also find a strap or you could use a towel, a long sleeve shirt, and then I'll meet you down on your mat. We'll get started down on the floor. Come down to your bum, bend your knees, soles of the feet on the ground, and then slowly bring yourself all the way down to your back. Hug your knees in towards your chest. And then reach for your knees or for your shins. And start to take little circles here. Releasing your low back. Massaging it out. And switch directions. And come in center. Lower your feet down towards the ground. Then walk your feet out wide, about as wide as your mat. Bring your knees into touch, resting on one another. You can rest your arms alongside your body or place one hand on your belly and one hand on your chest. Feel free to close your eyes and start to notice your breath often. When we're stressed or just going about our day, we just breathe into our accessory muscles. So this means that we're just breathing into the top part, very short, shallow breaths. But our diaphragm is a muscle down at the bottom of our rib cage. This is shaped like a jellyfish and it runs parallel with the vagus nerve. So when you breathe deeply, you utilize this diaphragm muscle and you stimulate the vagus nerve. So this helps to relax your body. So when you're stressed out and you start to slow down your breath, you relax your body. You let your body know that it's okay. We're going to deepen into our breath. We'll find our four to eight breath. It's an inhale through the nose to the count of four. Exhale out the mouth to the count of eight. Inhale nose. One, two, three, four. Exhale mouth. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale nose. One, two, three, four, exhale mouth, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale nose, one, two, three, four, exhale mouth, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, when you breathe and focus on expanding your rib cage, expanding your belly even, you're filling up so much. Slow, long exhales out. And open your knees back wide. Place your hands alongside your body, palms down. Take a deep breath in as you lift your hips up towards the sky, press into your heels. Reach your arms up and over, rest them down on the ground. As you exhale, lower your hips, lower your hands back down alongside your body. Inhale, press your hips up, lift your arms up. Exhale, lower your hips and arms back down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower your hips and arms back down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower your arms and hips back down. 
press your hands down, palms down, and then lift your hips back up towards the sky. You might need to walk your heels in a little bit towards your hips. Press your hips up and start to rock your hips side to side. And then pause in the center, press your hips up one more time as much as you can. And then slowly lower your hips back down. Ground down into your left foot. Lift your right foot, place on top of your left thigh. Use your right hand to press your right thigh away. And then slowly let your knees fall over towards the left side. Open your arms to a T on the ground. And then breathe into the right side of your body. And then slowly come back up through center and switch it out. Lower your right heel down, lift your left foot, place on top of your right thigh. Use your left hand to press your left thigh away. And release your hand to the ground and slowly let your knees twist over towards the right side. Arms can stay open to a T. You could goal post them to let them relax wherever feels natural to you. And send your breath along the left side of your body. Slowly bring your legs back through center and cross your legs. Bring your knees into your chest one more time. Then lower your feet down towards the ground. Open your knees out wide, soles of the feet touch for butterfly. Deepen back into your breath. Allow your hips to open up here. Slowly close your knees back up. Reach for the back of your thighs. Start to rock forward and back, massaging out the length of your back. Forward and back. And then come all the way up into a seated position. And we'll move into our first long hold stretch. Come into a kneeling position. If you want more support, you could sit on your blocks or pillow. Reach for your strap or your towel, whatever you have. Place it into your right hand. Bend your right arm back with your left arm. Reach back for your strap. Walk your hands as close as you can together. And then press the back of your head into your hands. Keep your chin up. Keep tension on the strap and try to press your elbows back. We'll be here for two minutes on each side. Opening up our thoracic spine, our upper back. When we feel really stressed, Often we feel a lot of tension in our shoulders. And notice that the next time you feel stressed out, how you're carrying your shoulders. Shoulders usually hunch up towards our ears. It gets really tight. So when we're feeling stress, a really good place to stretch is the shoulders to loosen them up so your body can release the tension. Relax your face. Slow down your breath. Take an inhale through your nose. One, two, three, four. Open mouth, exhale. Eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one. Inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth. See if you can walk your hands any closer together. Lift your chin up. Open up your shoulders. Take one more breath in. As you exhale, slowly release. Shake it out. Now let's go to the other side. Place your strap in your left hand. Bend your elbow back, right hand reaches back for the strap. Walk your hands together as much as you can. And then when you're there, lift your chin up. Press the back of your head into your hand. Relax your shoulders as you open them up. Something I would advise you to do during the day is to reach your arms up more. Another reason we feel a lot of tension, we feel locked up in our shoulders, is because of the lack of overhead motions that we need to do throughout the day. So just reaching up to the sky to stretch, especially when you're feeling tense, are little things you can do throughout the day to keep your body open and less tight. Notice your breath. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. Inhale nose. Exhale mouth. Continue to lift your chin up, press the, your head into your hand. Lift your chest up, relax your shoulders open. Take one last deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, sigh it all out. Good, slowly release the strap, shake your arms out, make your way into tabletop pose. Stack your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. Spread your fingers wide, space between each and every finger and then breathe in as you lower your belly, arch your back, look up, hug your shoulders together. Exhale, round your spine, press the floor away, tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, lower your belly, arch your back, look forward. Exhale, press the floor away and round your spine. Inhale, lower your belly, arch your back, hug your shoulders together, look up. Exhale, round your spine, press the floor away. Tuck your chin to your chest, look for the top of your thighs. Come back through center. Tuck your toes, hover your knees up off the ground, and then send your hips up and back into down dog. Bend one knee, straighten and sink it into the other. Straighten your arms. Press the floor away here and then relax your head and neck. Take a breath in. As you press your heels down towards the ground, look towards the top of the mat, step or hop, come into a forward fold. 
Bring your feet about hip distance apart. Outer, ed outer edges of your feet are parallel. Keep a slight bend into your knees. And relax your torso. If you need support here, you could take blocks underneath your hands, or you could take the ragdoll up against the wall, resting your bum on the wall. And we'll be here for two minutes. And if the back of your legs are really tight today, keep a bend in your knees. Notice your feet on the ground. Press into the pinky side edges of your feet and then ground down into the inner arches. Spread your toes wide, grip into the ground. Let your torso be heavy here. Relax your face. And clench your jaw. Slow your breath down. Take a breath in through your nose. One, two, three, four. Exhale mouth. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale nose. Exhale mouth. See if, as time goes by, you're able to relax your torso down a little bit more. Relax your shoulders down just a little bit more. Continue to ground down into your feet as you melt your chest, your head forward. Take one last breath in. And as you exhale, release your hands, ground down into your feet, bend into your knees slowly, roll yourself all the way to stand. Take a couple shoulder rolls here, inhale, shoulders up towards your ears, exhale, relax them down and back, inhale, shoulders up, exhale, shoulders down and back. This time, breathe in, sweep your arms up to the sky. Exhale, sit back, sweep your arms back. Inhale, lift up, reach up. Exhale, sit back, sweep your arms back. Inhale, up. Exhale, sit back, sweep your arms back. Breathe in, reach up towards the sky. Exhale, go post your arms, hug your shoulder blades together. Open up into your chest, look up. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, reach for your left wrist. Side bend over towards the right side as you press your hips towards the left. Inhale, come back up. Switch your grip, reach for your right wrist. Breath in, reach up. Exhale, bend over towards the left as you press your hips towards the right. And slowly come back up through center. Release your hands, place your hands on your hips. Press your hips forward. Reach your arms forward. Sit back into chair pose. Ground down into your heels. Reach forward. Breathe in. As you exhale, straighten your legs. Come into forward fold. Plant your hands, step back into tabletop. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees. Look forward and step your right foot outside your right hand. If your back, the back of your knee, feels like there's too much pressure, you could pad it up with a towel or a blanket. Hands underneath your shoulders, foot is in line with your ankle or even a little bit in front of it. If you have blocks here, you could place blocks underneath your hands or pillows. And then we'll be here for three minutes on each side. So 
to start to melt down into this. Keep a bend into your elbows. You could bring forearms down to blocks or towards the ground. Relax your head and neck. Option is lightly roll onto the pinky side edge of your front foot to get lateral rotation. Your front leg is in deep hip flexion and your back is in deep hip extension. Now our psoas is our flight or fight muscle and this attaches the upper body to the lower body. Hip openers can release a lot of tension and stress for many reasons, but what comes to mind for me is the psoas being there, the flight or fight muscle, and how tight we can get into our hips. So there's so many ways that we can release stress. Deep stretching is a really effective way of doing it. Physically, and also mentally, being with your thoughts, but learning to guide your thoughts a little bit more. Start to notice your breath. Take a breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth. Continue to deepen into your breath. And as thoughts come and go, allow them to. Don't attach yourself to any one thought. If you start to go down a thought pattern that's stressing you out, break it up. Deepen back into your breath. Notice the sensations of the stretching. Our mind is a very powerful machine and it's constantly processing information, storing information. So it's never gonna shut off. You're always gonna have thoughts. And that's a good thing. It means your brain is functioning perfectly fine. Relax into this and let the stress go. Take one more breath in and slowly as you exhale, come back out. Place your hands onto the ground underneath your shoulders. Step back into the tabletop. Let's neutralize the spine. Take a breath in as you arch your back. Look up. Exhale, round your spine, press the floor away. Come back through center, side bend over towards the left side. Come through center, side bend over towards the right. Come back through center, take your left foot, step it outside your left hand. Pad up your back knee if you need to. Reach for your blocks or a pillow if you have those on the other side. Place them underneath your hands. And then start to melt down into this. Come onto your forearms if you're able. Ankle is in line with your knee. You're a little bit forward. And an option to roll onto the pinky side edge of your left foot as you melt your hips down towards the ground. Allow your hips to slowly sink down. Relax your shoulders. Relax your head and neck. release any tension you might be holding in your face. The more you can relax into these stretches, the more effective they'll be. The more you can open up into your muscles and fascia, 
creating more space for your body to move throughout the day. Notice what your breath is doing. Breathe in through your nose. Exhale, mouth. Inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth. We have a little bit more than a minute left to go on this side. I'll go quiet. Continue to deepen into your breath. Thirty more seconds here. Take one last deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Slowly press yourself back up. Bring your hands back underneath your shoulders, underneath the ground, or onto the ground, and then step your knee back. Open your knees out wide. Big toes come to touch. Walk your hands forward as you sink your hips back towards your heels for child's pose. Rest your forehead down on the ground, or you could stack fists and rest your forehead on your fists. Soft it into your low back. And with every exhale, melt down a little bit more. And press into your hands slowly. Peel yourself back up. And then come down to your bum. Bring the soles of your feet together, knees out wide for butterfly pose. You want your heels about three fists distance from your hips. If your back rounds a lot here, take blocks or pillows and bring them underneath your bum for more support. You could also take blocks or pillows and put them underneath your knees. Walk your hands out in front of you, palms up, and then relax your head and neck down. Let your thighs open wide. Feel your feet press together. Thighs relax. Walk your hands forward just a little bit more. Palms stay up. Relax your head and neck down. Relax your face. And then notice your breath. these long cold poses sometimes the hardest thing is the monkey mind all the information constantly coming through we let it pass by bring our attention back into the stretch sometimes we think of all the other things that we should be doing but you're exactly where you're supposed to be the benefits are really felt afterwards. 
And it's always worth it to stay to finish. about a minute left here. Continue to ground down, press or anchor your tailbone into the ground. Knees fall out wide. If your hands are starting to slide back, walk your hands forward again, palms stay up. Adjust your heels if you need to, if those are going forward or too far back. And relax your shoulders. Take a breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Sigh it all out. Slow, long exhale. Inhale, nose. And exhale, mouth. Take one more breath in. Slow breath out. Start to press yourself back up. Close your knees up. Lower your hips back down towards the ground. Windshield wipe your knees side to side. Take your hands back behind you. Knees rock side to side. And then pause in the center. Extend your left leg out long. Take your right foot. Bring it into the inside of your left thigh. And then you could take the black or pillow underneath your bum here if you need a little bit more support and elevation. Option to take blocks on either side of your leg to rest your hands. Take a breath in as you reach up towards the sky. Exhale, twist over your left leg, your extended leg, and then relax your hands on either side of your leg. Palms stay up and relax your head and neck down. Press your right hip in towards the ground as you melt over your extended leg. You could flex your foot here to protect your knee or relax your foot completely and let it go. Allow your shoulders to relax away from your ears. Slow your breath. You have one more minute on this side. Adjust if you need to. Walk your hands forward a little bit more if they're sliding back. Keep your palms up as you melt down. And we keep our palms up just so we're not gripping too much at the mat. We're just being floppy here. Your back can round. So the main focus here are your hamstrings, the muscles in the back of your thighs. Last deep breath in. As you exhale, slowly walk yourself back up. Keep your legs the way they are. Ground down your tailbone into the earth. Lift your chest up. Twist towards the right side. Plant your right hand down on the ground. Press into it as you press your hips up. Top arm reaches up and over. Slowly come back down. 
and then switch it out. Extend your opposite leg, bend your left knee, sole of your foot comes into the inner thigh of your extended leg. Same thing on this side, bring blocks or pillows underneath your bum if your back is super rounded or blocks or pillows on either side of your legs to place your hands. Take a breath in, reach up towards the sky, twist towards your extended leg, and then relax your hands on either side of your leg. Palm up. Press your left hip down into the ground. As you twist and melt down, And if your leg doesn't extend straight, that's perfectly fine. Keep the bend in your knee to protect your low back. And slowly, we'll get your hamstrings opened up so your leg can extend. Relax your face. Flex your foot here if that feels good, or let it completely relax. Melt your shoulders down. And deepen into your breath. Inhale through your nose. One, two, three, four. Open mouth, exhale. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, nose. And exhale, mouth. Adjust if you need to. Walk your hands forward a little bit more if they were sliding back. Take your final deep breath in. And then long deep breath out. Slowly start to walk yourself back up. Sit up nice and tall. And then twist over towards your left side. Plant your left hand down towards the ground. Press your hips up, top arm reaches up and over. And slowly lower yourself back down. Take your mat over to a wall space for hangman pose. Hangman pose, also known as cliffhanger hook pose, is where we really open up our shoulders and our chest. So come down to your belly. Bring the top of your head towards the wall. And then walk your hands up as much as you can. Straighten into your arms, spread your fingers wide, relax your chest down. If that is too much, do this in child's pose, knees out wide, big toes touch, walk your hands up and do it from there. So we'll all come into this together. Walk your hands up as much as you can. Spread your fingers wide and then relax your head and neck down. You want your arms as straight as possible. And relax the tops of your feet into the ground. Allow your hips to sink down and release. Bottom of your rib cage relaxes down. Continue to spread your fingers wide Grip into the wall and let your head be heavy. Relax into this as much as you can so you can really open up and release any 
built up tension or stress in your chest. Notice your breath. Slow it down. Take a breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth. You have 30 more seconds here. I know this one gets really intense. But stay with it. Walk your hands up a little bit more if they're starting to slide down. Slow your breath down. Take one more breath in. And slowly exhale, slowly bring your arms back down. Really good job. Slowly press yourself up. And come into legs up the wall. If that doesn't work for you today, you could take a final Shavasana where you're just laying for a few moments here. If you're taking legs up the wall, join me, bend your knees, press your side into the wall, bring your hands back behind you, and then you're just gonna swing your feet onto the wall. Pivot your body. Slide your hips as close as you can to the wall. An option to slide a pillow underneath your hips here for support. Relax down. Notice your feet. Flex your feet. Point your toes. Flex your feet as much as you can. And point your toes. And then let your feet completely relax. Take these last final moments of class to breathe and to just be. Know that your breath is always there for you. Use that as an anchor when you feel stress. When you feel stress, notice the way you're carrying your body. If your shoulders are getting really tight, relax them down and back away from your ears. Notice how you're carrying your stress throughout the day. And then give yourself time to stretch, to release it, to let it go. you want to stay in this position, rested position longer, go ahead and just let the video play. If you're ready to come out, bend into your knees, roll onto your side, and then slowly press yourself up. We'll end class with our four to four breath. That's an inhale through the nose to the count of four. Exhale back out the nose, count of four. This way we can waken our body up if you have stuff you need to do still. Relax your shoulders down and place your hands onto your knees and close your eyes. Take an inhale through your nose. One, two, three, four. Exhale nose. Four, three, two, one. Inhale nose. One, two, three, four, exhale nose, four, three, two, one, inhale nose, exhale nose, 
place one hand on your chest, one hand on your abdomen. Breathe into your hands. May this practice heal and strengthen your body and your mind. May this practice heal and strengthen your body and your mind. Slowly open up your eyes. Thank you so much for being here. If this video helped you and if you'd like to see more, go ahead and like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.